People ask me, why do you do syntax audits of other people's attempts at correct sentence structure? Like, why do you take things from, well, what can we say, well-known individuals in the quantum grammar contingent and uh, put their attempts at correct sentence structure up and point out what's wrong? Like, why do you do that? Well, here's the thing. My position has always been grammar tutor. I teach correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. I have been doing that since February of 2018. And that's my position. I look at the grammar. That's my wheelhouse. That's my ballywick. That's what I know about. It's what I do. And I'm 100% comfortable with it. So, there are these individuals out there that are in adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble, granted, they're making claims. They're slandering me, uh, calling me names. <laughs> One guy's even making psychological diagnosis about me, uh, even though I don't think they're a psychologist. But they're, they're doing it anyways. And why are they doing this? Why are these people doing this? I can only guess, but I can say that, as a guess, that they don't know the grammar. So that's why they have to go to other avenues to try and discredit me. Now, why do they want to discredit me? Maybe they find correct grammar threatening, especially if they themselves don't have closure on it and, act, and cannot produce any now space closure on it. They can't come into the now space and perform. They can't come onto a live stream and answer grammar questions because they don't have that knowledge. They don't have that closure. Um, that's the only guess that I can put out. So the only thing I can do really, and the most important thing I can do is just concentrate on the grammar and bring that to the focal point. Uh, you know, one guy, instead of being able to even talk about grammar, they just kind of make interpretations of, of movies and make psychological diagnosis of people they don't even know. <laughs> and the other guy doesn't say anything about whether anything's correct or not correct they just say that uh, they just think that everyone has to have their authorization to do anything which you know whatever I mean everybody's entitled to an opinion I just bring it to the grammar the grammar performances that's what I look at that's what I concentrate on and until someone can meet me on the geometric level playing field of grammar and show that they have closure and knowledge of correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar this is what I'm going to continue to concentrate on. I'm not going to badmouth anyone. I'm not going to disqualify anyone as an individual, as a live life claimant or anything like that. What I'm going to do is put the grammar under a microscope and continue to do so. Because isn't that the most important thing of all of this? If you are listening or learning from someone and you respect them, have honor for them, shouldn't they show to you in the now space that they have closure on grammar that they can yeah. use correct sentence structure I mean isn't that the most important thing of all of this the grammar and evidence of knowledge thereof I mean that's what I think that's the way I do it so that's the answer to that that's why I do a lot of these audits because the, the individuals I'm auditing the gra not the individuals but the grammar that I'm auditing has been authored by individuals who have slandered me or told lies about me in fiction babble, in videos or wherever else, private Zoom, Zoom rooms or whatever. They talk about everything except for grammar because I suppose they have to because that's what you do when you don't have closure on one thing. You try to misdirect and draw someone's attention to something else. And a lot of times, that's just twisted truths or outright lies. But it is what it is. And uh, I'll continue to make these audits as long as these situations continue to present themselves to me. Thank you.